Good morning. Um, I was watching a TV show the other night, and the title of the little series there was in, uh, Serpent Invasion. Uh, and it just made me think of how, how we are, we're invaded or we're overcome with evil. And in 1 John chapter 5 at the end of verse 19, it says, The whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world lieth in wickedness. So when we are born, we're born into this evil. We're born into this wicked. We're born into no good. And uh, I just think how, how we are overcome with it. But what are we supposed to do? All right, so we know that we all around us is evil. We can look on TV. We can we can look around. I mean, it's it's evil. It's wicked. The whole world lieth in wickedness. But what are we supposed to do about it? I, I was I was asking the Lord. I was like, all right, so we lie in wickedness. The whole world lieth in wickedness. What are we supposed to do? And and two things. One. You know, he don't want us to stay there. You know, we are, we are, there is no righteousness. He says our righteousness is, is as filthy rags. There's no good in us. But when we accept Jesus, we put off our whatever filthy rags and we take on his righteousness. Which is awesome to know that, that he trades us places just like that. And all we have to do is say, Father, forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. That is amazing. That is amazing. The second thing is that don't be corrupted by what's around you. You know, you take a you take a piece of metal, a uh, bare metal, and you leave it outside. What happens? The the water and the moisture in the air it, it causes it to rust. It it has an effect on it. And that's the same thing that will happen to us. If if we are not protected by the Holy Spirit, if we're not protected by God in a, in a close relationship with Him, then this world will have an effect on us. And it will start to corrupt and corrode and, and, and contaminate us. And then that's when we fall away. I want to encourage you today. Watch yourself. Be careful. But... but the most important thing is stay close to God. Stay close to God. Stay close to that relationship. Uh, cherish that. Uh, what what we have today uh, blows my mind that, that we can talk to the Creator, that we can talk to, to God Almighty, and He listens. That blows my mind. I, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. It's It's awesome. It's awesome to know that, that the Creator loves me and wants to talk to me. And He wants a relationship with me. And He don't want you to be corrupted by the things around you. But He wants you to stand out. He wants you to be that light in the darkness. He wants you to, to be the one that, that is different. And I challenge you today. Just, just stay focused on God. Don't let the things of this world corrupt you. Don't let the things that's going on change you. Let's let God change the world. God bless you.